has revealed all of their panda crates, so subscribers can now see which crate they can expect at what age range, which is huge. This is something that we've been asking for and hoping for for years, and they listened. In this video, we're gonna look at some of the changes that go along with this big reveal, as well as my top picks. And while this video is sponsored by Kiwiko, I have been a subscriber since 2019 or 2020, and I have covered individual crate reviews, high-level crate line reviews, how Kiwiko works, because they have an awesome storefront, gifting options, and so much more. So I will leave a link to that playlist in the description box below, as well as links to shop the best of crates we're gonna talk about today and chapters so you can skip ahead to any specific age range. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell because in my next video, I will talk about which of the crates I think are worth skipping and why. With this reveal came some changes to KiwiCo's Panda Crate. First thing to know is that this is the only one of KiwiCo's subscription lines where you can preview all of the crates. The other lines are staying the same where you get a small sampling of crates. You don't know what is shipping when unless you take advantage of the start with this crate option, which I covered in a previous video. The Panda Crate line now has three options to choose from. Each of these still ship every other month, but they offer a slightly different price point and number of items. For the purposes of this review, we're going to solely talk about the Panda Crate Plus, which comes with everything in the Panda Crate Essentials, plus one Grow With Me Play item. Because that plus item is really the one that typically gets the most use out of my house, making this the best overall value in my experience. And those are usually worth the cost of the crate in themselves. And you can still use my code TCM to get a discount on your first Panda Crate order as a new subscriber. All right, let's talk about the best Panda Crates by age. For newborns to six month olds, my favorite crate is the Let's Scent. This is a great grouping of items that will span quite a few months, if not the whole first year. And I particularly like this grouping of items because they double really well for travel or waiting toys. So the little spiral toy holder can usually just wrap around the top of a car seat or a stroller bar. And if you're playing outside, if you have older kids, you could even try like wrapping it around the post of a fence and getting them to do some tummy time or vertical play. The hanging toys included in here can attach onto that spiral or they can be used as separate standalone teethers or reaching toys to encourage a rolling or crawling or movement. But the ocean activity wedge that comes in this is really what makes this such a fantastic value. I love the multiple configurations, lots to explore for littles, but then as kids start getting older, this piece can actually be really easily upcycled into that next stage of play. So for instance, my five-year-old loves to build forts. We have play couches and all the things, but one of the ways she really likes to build forts is by taking a blanket and putting it over a chair, which is a very classic way to play. And she's always looking for some sort of little post to create a teepee on the base of the chair and the blanket. So it kind of gets held up. And the shape of this, the size of this would work perfectly for that. The crinkle book and board book are two great items in general for this age range and beyond during that whole first year, as are the wooden rattle sets, all of which can easily fit into a diaper bag or purse. Really, the items in here are going to last and provide a nice amount of versatility in multiple settings for the next six months to a year, and possibly more if you get creative with it. For six to 12 months, I really like the Let's Listen and Let's Explore. We have the piano xylophone shaker set that comes in the Let's Listen, and my kids love it. This comes around, I think, seven months old, and we didn't get it until my kids were two and four years old. We've had it for about a year now, well past the intended age range, and it still gets a ton of views. Additionally, this crate also comes with three ombre play scarves. We use play scarves in our house pretty much every single day with a three and five year old, and I don't see that slowing down anytime soon. We've used them daily for years. I just think the items in Let's Listen are going to last for so long. Beyond that, there's a couple smaller items that come in here, a wooden shaker and a waterfall shaker, which again are great for tossing in the diaper bag when heading out. And then what I think is really cool is the wooden scarf keeper, which is a fun twist on the Montessori magic tissue box. So basically it has abacus style beads, which is always a hit at this age. And then you can stuff the scarves inside and pull them out one by one, similar to that Montessori magic tissue box. So I think it just has a very unique way of playing that's going to last for a while. And again, even that little wooden piece could be used in fort building later on down the road. Could be a pretend bird feeder. There's a lot of different ways to repurpose that one as well. And as far as crates go for the entire year, I would say that Let's Listen is my number one pick for newborns to one-year-olds as a whole. The Let's Explore crate is another one I think kids will enjoy for a while. Mirror puzzles are always great. I love them for travels and outings because it's compact and not a lot of pieces. Coin box is also another one of our favorites. We've had similar toys in the past. It's one that gets used quite often because I'm convinced that the key to keeping older babies and young toddlers engaged is just finding a variety of containers for them to put stuff in and out of, which this checks off. Additionally, the B 
bead maze is a classic toy. It's been around forever for good reason. Kids love to play with it. The pop-up shape shorter puzzle is a fun combination of a few different popular toys. I feel confident kids will enjoy as well. Lastly, the busy block, our old Bush walker thing had a similar setup on the front of it. My kids would often sit down and play with that. It's a fantastic travel toy since it's all one piece and it's big enough if it gets dropped that you could reach back and pick it up. I also like the spinner on the front and I wonder if they were doing tummy time, if you could put that just outside their reach, have them try to hit it kind of like the full size Montessori spinning drum. Obviously it's a smaller target so it would be slightly more challenging. For 12 month olds to 18 month olds, I love the let's play crate. First, like I mentioned with the coin box, I do think the key to this age range and keeping them engaged is finding different style containers for them to get stuff in and out of. And this has the ball drop where you have to push the ball in and it goes down around the slide as well as a ball drop into a drawer box, both of which I have similar toys and my kids loved and played with for over a year. This also includes a wood pegboard set, which is a unique kind of puzzle-like item that can be repurposed a ton of different ways and made more challenging as kids grow. When you first get it, they're just gonna be working on their hand-eye coordination, probably just getting the different pieces on and off. But after that, you can start having them work on matching. You could even make your own sequencing cards and have them recreate different pictures or patterns that you draw out on the actual board. There's a lot of ways that this is going to have a much longer lifespan than probably right out the box what you think. And lastly, I love the wooden pullback car with Poppy in it. If you saw my playroom tour, there's a specific part of our playroom I say, if you want to have a minimalist playroom, these are the only toy categories you need and cars falls into that. For one and a half to two year olds, I like the let's pretend and let's solve crate. I think let's pretend is a good one because it's one of the crates in this age range that's going to get more and more use. The older kids get and the deeper their pretend play goes. What I particularly like about this crate is that it is a unique grouping of items that complements a lot of things that we may already have in our home but are unlikely to have duplicates. So for instance, a lot of people get a play kitchen, but a lot of play kitchens don't come with pots and pans and these are beautiful wooden sets. A lot of pretend play food sets are just that, the food set. They don't actually come with the garden box to go with it and which kind of adds that added element in pretend play of going and picking your own food or growing your own food. And of course a carrying basket can double for a storefront, for grocery shopping, for delivering a care package. It's just one of those smaller overlooked items. And the thing that really just made this play kit so cool is the track. I think most kids go through a point where they're obsessed with trash tracks. And I love that this one has just so many cool features. Now with that said, I think the Let's Solve Crate is definitely the most versatile and it has the most open-ended grouping of items that will also get the most immediate use out of. I remember when we got the squishy shapes that came in the original version of this crate, I opened it up and in the review, I think I even said I was like disappointed because I thought it was more of like a baby item and how quickly I was proved wrong from my initial assessment because they became my daughter's favorite toy from the crate. So much so that we still have them and use them today, even though she's five. This also comes with a sort and stack puzzle block, which obviously can be used for building and stacking. But honestly, you can use these for anything. They kind of remind me of play scarves. They could be like household items, grocery items, presents. They're a blank slate, but colorful, which makes them engaging that children can just use their imagination, project it onto them and turn the blocks into anything. And of course, being back shapes can be used for a ton of different activities as well. The two to three year old crates, I think have some of the most fun items that are going to last for the next few years. Through preschool for sure for most kids. We actually have all of the crates from this year. And so my top picks are going to be let's sort, let's tell a story, let's figure it out and let's go. Let's sort was a huge hit right out the box. My two year old was obsessed with the rainbow bubble counter. Both my two year old and five year old love playing with the sensory light box. The rainbow block puzzle goes with it. And the fishing game is definitely like the most favorited item from this crate. It's great for two year olds to learn how to take turns, starting to follow rules. It's great that they don't have to sit down to do it. It's a short enough game that they should be able to complete it and feel successful. And you can always adapt the rules to make it easier or harder depending on your child's attention span and understanding. My kids also use this as a pretend fishing hole in their pretend play and they gather fish and they throw back the turtles or starfish and they bring it over to a pretend fire they set up, which you could use as one of those ombre play scarves in the earlier crates I talked about. Now let's tell a story. I was immediately taken with the plus item from this, which is the train set. It's compatible with most other standard or wooden train sets. I love that the hopper lets you load blocks onto the train for delivery. There's color matching stations. My son loves pushing the little red button on the front train car to honk the horn before the train takes off. The trains use a standard magnetic connection, 
making them compatible with your own battery train cars. The price alone of the train set makes this entire crate worth it. They redid their old storyboard from a previous crate and resolved a complaint I had in that review, which was that the pieces used to fall out, but now the storyboard is fully zippered. So when not in use, you can zip it up. All of the pieces stay in place. They also have individual pockets for each of the felt pieces. So it doubles as both a matching game. You can also easily extend the play with this item using the loose objects to supplement sorting activities, matching activities, or selling activities. The Letter Munch Monster comes with these little coins that can actually act as like mini flashcards. So you can use that where you have them practice the letter sound before reading the monster. Again, as loose objects in different homeschool activities. In this crate, you actually get a poppy book in here, which is a little alphabet board book. The pictures and items associated with the letters in the book match the coins from the letter monster. So there's also an opportunity to create additional matching and seek and find games while reading the book with the other objects in this. For two and a half year olds, the Let's Go Crate is all about giving kids the pretend play tools to work through some of the things that they are facing or have faced around this time, like starting school or becoming more aware of what happens at doctor's appointment. Instead, you get a pretend doctor's kit, a little poppy lovey, and a snack set, and an activity backpack. My five-year-old immediately fell in love with this crate. It's definitely one that's going to last for years. Like the deeper your kid gets into their pretend play, the more use you'll be getting out of this crate. The items are all great quality. We get so much use out of them. Again, the pretend play snacks are kind of different than most pretend play food sets you might get on your own. So once again, it's very complimentary to things that we probably already have in our house, but are unlikely to get a duplicate of. So let's figure it out crate is another one that's sure to be a huge hit for the next few years to come. Jungle Tree Stacker works fine motor skills and spatial planning. Kids basically build the tree, then have to balance the animals on it. And you can turn it into a game using rules similar to like monkeys in a barrel or Jenga. The pop-up rocket puzzle is a fun shape recognition game similar to perfection and my kids love it. <laughs> they even like will set it off and then run into their pretend playhouse as a bomb's going off for shelter. So there's a lot of ways that's going to also get repurposed beyond just a simple puzzle. The spinning shape puzzle is also a unique challenge where they focus on one puzzle piece at a time. But the item that really puts this over the top for me is the peak a zoo puzzle box. Again, the minute I saw that, I knew my kids were gonna be obsessed. I think it's no secret. I love a good lock box. And I think this is such an awesome evolution of Montessori busy boards too. It's just brilliant. You get four different shaped keys. That in itself is a lesson on hand-eye coordination and problem solving and deductive reasoning and finger strength. Second, it comes with little animals and matching colors to the doors. I also love that as kids get older, maybe you take the wooden animal pieces and they just go into like a pretend doll bin and kids can use that lockbox as storage for jewelry or for treasures they pick up on a wall. They can leave the doors open so it's a display box. They can lock it up for their privacy. It's just brilliant. <laughs> kids' imaginations run wild and you can use that as different bedrooms. Mini cars can be used as garages. I kid you not, the first day I pulled it out, my son played with it for over an hour uninterrupted. And they played with it for days. They were fighting over it. Definitely that and the train were two runaway stole the show items. Kiwi Cots continue to impress me with the changes to their Panda Crate line. The quality and longevity of the items really continues to surpass my expectations from when we first started subscribing with them years ago. I love seeing my kids get a ton of use out of the new play items, even beyond their intended age ranges. And let me know in the comments if you want me to go back to doing individual crate reviews and how it compares to self curating them now that we have a reveal of all of their panda crates. I'd love to hear which ones you guys find are the biggest winners, which your kids have liked or disliked if you've tried them out. Don't forget to go back and check out my previous KiwiCo crate reviews and use that code TCM for a discount on your first order as a new subscriber. And until next time, my name is Rachel. Have a good